It's just educating ourselves that there are a lot of um, tools and resources that are out there to help improve patient safety using technology. And it's not just about it's not just about um, figuring out how to configure your health IT or your electronic health record so that it doesn't cause an error, but it's about using health IT to optimize use, to take advantage of it like you never could with paper and pencil to improve the safety of uh, patients. So I'll, a quick example, an easy example, is when you have um, the ability to put into a system that your patient's allergic to something, a medication. And when you try to order it, it says, hey, stop, you shouldn't order that because the patient's allergic to it. Now you can't, couldn't do that with paper and pencil. So those are the kinds of things we need to just make sure that we take advantage of and we publish and let other people know this has been helpful, a success. So I think the ball's rolling. I think it just needs to keep on going. So one of the tools, I've talked about tools a little bit, but there are several that are out there that we can use, resources, a lot of them that are evidence-based. One of them is um, the SAFER guides. So it's S-A-F-E-R, and I'm probably going to mess up what the letters stand for. I believe it's the SAFE um, safety assurance factors for EHR resiliency and so there are guides and there's nine guides that are published on ONC's website where organizations can take those guides and they can do a self-assessment they can look and see how well they're doing related to those um, items each guide has something like mm, 18 or so items that you can see you know are we doing this in our organization and you can say you know partially or yes we're doing that fully or no we haven't started that yet so as organizations can look at these um, safety factors and safety behaviors that we should all be paying attention to um, we can do that self-assessment and we can set up uh, programs to help to you know make those improvements so that's one of the tools um, Gosh, there's several others. You know, ECRI has um, uh, several tools. Recently, the copy and paste uh, toolkit. So, you know, we know that's a problem when you copy and paste things in an electronic record. It's uh, there's the potential for error. So, the toolkit provides some guidelines and some recommendations on how to do that. Uh, they've also recently just published a um, patient identification toolkit because we know that sometimes the wrong patient is chosen and we can have errors. So, another toolkit with guidelines there. Though uh, another one that we just started was um, we've just started to kick off the development of a how an organization can develop a health IT safety program. So hopefully next year when we chat, um, we'll be able to talk about that.